Have you ever wondered why, despite all your efforts, you're still struggling with money? It's an all too familiar situation, isn't it? I remember when I was in my early 20s, fresh out of college and earning my first paycheck, it was exhilarating. But as the months rolled on, I found myself living paycheck to paycheck, unable to understand where all my money was going. And I'm sure many of you have had similar experiences. It's a cycle that seems never ending, earning, spending, and then waiting for the next paycheck. But why does this happen? Are we doing something wrong or is there more to it? Understanding the why behind our financial struggles is the first step towards breaking this cycle. In this video, we'll explore the reasons why most people are broke. Remember, this isn't about blaming, but understanding common financial pitfalls. Let's dive deep into this, shall we? One of the major reasons people struggle financially is a lack of clear financial goals. Without these guiding stars, our financial decisions can often become aimless and erratic. Let's imagine you're planning a road trip. If you don't set a destination, you might end up aimlessly driving, wasting fuel, and ultimately getting nowhere. The same applies to our finances. Financial goals like saving for retirement, paying off debt, or buying a home provide a roadmap for our financial journey. They help us make informed decisions from how much we should save each month to which investments could help us grow our wealth. When we have a clear vision of where we're going, we can chart a path and make consistent strides toward our destination. However, without these goals, we can often find ourselves making impulsive purchases or falling into the trap of living paycheck to paycheck. Without clear financial goals, we're like a ship without a compass, drifting aimlessly in the vast financial ocean. Now it's your turn to share. We've all had our own unique experiences with financial challenges, haven't we? Perhaps you found yourself in a financial pitfall or you've witnessed someone close to you grapple with their finances. It's these stories that make us human and remind us that we're not alone in our struggles. So let's hear from you. What are some of the financial challenges you've faced? Or maybe you've successfully overcome a financial hurdle and would like to share your story to inspire others? Your insights could serve as the spark that ignites change for someone else. We also welcome your thoughts on the common financial pitfalls we've discussed so far. Do you agree with them? Or perhaps you feel there are other overlooked aspects that contribute to financial instability? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember, your experiences and insights can help others navigate their financial journey. Another major pitfall on the road to financial stability is the influence of expensive habits and bad debt. Let's talk about expensive habits first. Picture this. You've had a long day, and you feel like you deserve a little treat. So you decide to indulge in some retail therapy or order takeout from your favorite restaurant. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with these actions, but when they become habitual, these small indulgences can add up to a significant impact on your financial well-being. Think about it. Let's say you spend around $20 on takeout three times a week. That's $60 a week, which adds up to over $3,000 a year, and that's just one habit. If we add a daily coffee habit or frequent online shopping sprees, the numbers can skyrocket. Now let's switch gears and talk about debt. Not all debt is created equal. There's good debt and there's bad debt. Good debt is an investment that will grow in value or generate long-term income. Things like a mortgage or a student loan can be considered good debt, assuming they're manageable. Bad debt, on the other hand, is something that quickly depreciates in value or does not contribute to generating income. Credit card debt from non-essential purchases, payday loans, or high-interest auto loans are examples of bad debt. They often come with high interest rates and can quickly lead to a cycle of financial struggle if they're not managed properly. Imagine using a credit card to finance a lifestyle you can't genuinely afford. You're essentially borrowing from your future self, plus interest. And that interest can add up quickly. Before you know it, you're stuck in a cycle of making minimum payments while your debt continues to grow. So what's the takeaway from all this? Expensive habits and bad debt can significantly hinder your journey towards financial stability, but the good news is it's never too late to change these habits. The key is to break free from these chains and start making financially sound decisions. Knowledge is power, and this is especially true when it comes to finances. Financial literacy is not about memorizing complex economic theories or becoming a Wall Street whiz. It's about understanding the fundamentals, the principles that govern money and how it works. It's about knowing how to make, manage, invest, and donate money in a way that aligns with your values and helps you achieve your goals. 
Financial education gives you the tools to make informed decisions. It empowers you to navigate the world of credit scores, interest rates, investments, taxes, and insurance policies. It helps you understand the impact of your financial decisions on your overall financial health. Now you might be thinking, where do I start? The world of finance seems so vast and complicated. But don't worry, there are plenty of resources out there designed to make financial education accessible and understandable. Websites like Investopedia or Khan Academy offer free, easy-to-understand resources on a wide range of financial topics. Books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad or The Total Money Makeover can also provide valuable insights and strategies. But financial education doesn't stop at acquiring knowledge. It's also about applying that knowledge to your life. And a great place to start is by setting clear financial goals. Whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, setting aside money for your child's education, or planning for a comfortable retirement, having a clear goal gives your financial actions purpose and direction. Here's a simple action plan. Start by defining your financial goals. Be as specific as possible and make sure they're measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Then create a budget that aligns with your goals. Track your income and expenses and adjust your spending habits as needed. Finally, review your progress regularly and make adjustments as necessary. Remember, financial education is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. It's about continually learning, adapting, and growing. With awareness and small changes, you can transform your financial situation. Remember, it's never too late to start. We've covered a lot of ground today, but the journey doesn't end here. It's time to take the next step. If you found this video beneficial, if it sparked a thought or made you reconsider your financial habits, then don't hesitate to hit that like button. It helps us reach more people who might be in need of this message. Sharing is caring, right? So why not share this video with someone you care about? Maybe they're in need of a financial wake-up call, or perhaps they're already on the journey to financial wellness. Either way, this video could be a helpful resource. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got more content on financial wellness coming your way. Now it's your turn. What are your financial goals? What challenges are you facing? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section. Remember, we're all in this together. Let's continue this conversation and together we can overcome financial struggles and strive for financial wellness.